I'm Mary Jo Langford. I think it says that. This is called the Orchestra of Life. Birds, do you get weary from singing the same songs day after day after day? Or is the beauty in the orchestra, nature's arrangement of the cooing dove, the chittering wren, the caw of the crow, the repetitive chirp, chirp, chirps of birds, the scream of a bluebird, the whistle of the wood duck, the cry of the loon, the shrill of the hawk, and the whirring of hummingbird wings. Birds, are your repetitive calls, your school cafeteria chorus of kids' voices, and the scraping of chairs? The equivalent cacophony of a street fair, where barkers hawk their wares and music calls from the end of the street. Is it the sound of feet shuffling on an overhead floor, announcer voices crackling on a PA, fans cheering at a ball game, music vibrating through the floor and up into bar stools, a car vibrating down the street, a man whistling for his dog? Birds, are your noises for you like our noises are for us? The orchestral backdrop for the day-to-day -day tasks of grubbing for worms and defending the nest. This is called Ocotillo Street. Life blooms along Ocotillo Street, a rural road on the edge of a desert city, running parallel to the Santa Catalina Mountains, dead-ending at the creek that carved Sabino Canyon. The word ocotillo, derived from Spanish, means little torch. These little torch desert plants line Ocotillo Street, peppering the landscape with its spindly branches, sharing the roadway edge with sage and mesquite and saguaro cactus neighbors. Monsoon rains trigger the red signature flagging tip-top bloom, and the little torches wave like gay flags from its tall, skinny, woody branches. Hello down there, shouts the Ocotillo along Ocotillo Street. You, walking or driving or riding your bike, making your way along this desert roadway. Look at all of us waving madly at you. Hello, hello, hello. And this was from a prompt when we had our Creekside Poets. It was said, if anyone understood the loneliness, the moon would. And so this is how I responded to that prompt. Dear Moon, I am writing to ask if it's lonely at the top. Dear Moon, I am writing to ask if you have ever seen the man. Dear Moon, I am writing to ask if a harvest moon requires special preparation. Dear Moon, I am writing to ask if a blue moon leaves you feeling depressed. Dear Moon, I am writing to ask if controlling the tide keeps you in shape, tied in, tied out, tied in, tied out. Dear Moon, I am writing to ask if you ever feel like wanting all the way. Dear Moon, I am writing to ask if anyone has ever called you a lunatic. Dear Moon, I am writing to ask if you feel full after a big meal. Dear Moon, I am writing to ask if anyone has asked to borrow a quarter. Dear Moon, I am writing to ask if you ever wanted to get a pedicure while waxing. <laughs> and this is, um, I think, was another prompt from our group, Unfold Your Own Myth, which is Rumi. The myth that she can do anything. If you believe you can do anything, then sometimes doing anything means opening the gifts others bring to the table people who can do the anything things that you can't do. Then you must tell everyone about the wonderful gifts you received so that everyone will be sure to open their gifts too, so they too can do anything. And then everyone will say, my friend Mary Jo taught me that I can do anything. <laughs>